Welcome, my dear dreadfuls. I'm Nyx, curator of this penny dreadful moment. And tonight, I want you to know you'll never be alone. It has always worried me, tormented, burned. It has scared me all my life, and I try so hard to avoid it. Abandonment. Being left somewhere forever by myself. Trapped. Condemned to be alone without the ones you love. To decay in silence. Abandonment is a force. It kills people. It's madness to think like this, but I can't seem to get rid of it. Every day, I make him promise he will never leave me. I know it scares him, but I have to be sure. You can't break a promise. You never have to worry about that. I always come back, don't I? But I started to get worried again. You didn't say you loved me. I felt tears prickling the corners of my eyes. I don't need to. You already know, he smiled, which made me smile. Come back soon. I'll try. I love you, he assures me. I love you too. He kissed me goodbye, and then he left. He left. Maybe this time he won't come back. This hell begins. The first few hours pass quite quickly as I kill time cleaning. Nothing left to clean. Should probably go to sleep. All of a sudden, I was alone in the attic. Walls graffitied with products of insanity. Helpless babble. Pessimistic conclusions. Messages for those who will never receive them. Who left me here? I start banging on the skylight window. I can't break it. I scream at the people walking past, but they don't see me. No one is going to help me. I'll be here forever, to slowly decay into oblivion. I start crying helplessly with my head buried in my hands. My eyes shoot open, my heart is pounding against my ribcage, and I hear my pulse echo through my head rapidly. I'm in the bedroom in my house, it is dark outside, and tears are still flowing from my eyes. It was just a dream. I grabbed my blanket held it tight in my arms. Maybe it would come true. I started crying then. Ran to the window. Why isn't he home yet? I looked at the clock. It was 9 p.m. What if I don't recognize him when he gets back? I rushed to our photo on the bedside table. There we are. Together. I'm sinking further into the darkness of my mind. I walk across the room to look in the mirror physically feel ill. He's the only one who makes me feel better. I don't know how he can stand me. I'm ugly and stupid and fat. I hate everything about me. I fall deeper into the pit of self-loathing. I gaze in the mirror closely. I see a black shadow reflected that seemed to glide through the hallway. My hands tensed into fists and my blood Runs cold. If I lock the door, it could trap me in here. I need to see what it is. I really don't want to be alone right now. Please help me. I tread slowly out of the room, being careful not to make much noise. I creep slowly through the hall. and hear banging in the kitchen. I need to see what it is. I need to get closer. I'm right next to the kitchen. I stick my head around the wall for a moment. There! I see it! Its skin is dead and grotesque. It's wearing tattered, blood-stained robes. All color is drained from my skin. I'm trembling uncontrollably. I can't move. I won't survive. It knows. It knows I'm here. Everything comes to a halt. I'll go silent. I bring myself to have another look. Everything is normal. Why is this happening? 
Was I seeing things again? No. It was real. It was. I can't take it. I'm going crazy. I don't want it to get me. I must escape. I take the first steps towards the door. I stop for a moment to inhale. I hear heavy footsteps. Not my own. No. I know it's behind me. I dare not turn around. I'm going to run towards the door. I might outrun it if I get outside. I start counting in my mind. One. Two. It grabs me. I feel its deathly cold hands grasping me. No. No! Let me go. Please. The room is getting smaller and caving in on me. This is the end. I will die trapped in my house. Hey, I'm back, said a familiar voice in a tone which was more calming than anything I've ever experienced. It then dawned on me that the voice came from behind me, from the lips of the thing that held me. I turned around to see his face. I collapsed, overwhelmed by relief. He carried me to the armchair. You came back. He laughed slightly. I said I would, didn't I? I smiled and clutched him tightly, never wanting to leave the embrace of his protection. I glanced towards the door. There was a pile of old, tattered, blood-stained robes. Now that's the end of our moment together, my dear dreadfuls. I hope you enjoyed Not Entirely Alone. If you did, let me know in the comments below or on Twitter. And don't forget to share the story and check out the donation link in the description below. Now remember, my little dreadfuls, don't be afraid of the dark. Be terrified of what is in it. Until next time.